All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect HomeKeeper to your command. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously log into command. And then in the top right hand corner, you're going to see an icon that looks kind of like a storefront. This is your marketplace. So we're going to click that icon. In the text box where it says search marketplace, you're going to type in HomeKeeper. And notice how it's spelled. There is no E in between the P and R. When the HomeKeeper product pops up, you just click on it. Click um, in this section, it'll say probably purchase app. I already have the app, which is why it says manage, but you would click this button that's in the top right hand corner to purchase. And then you will follow the steps to purchase the application. From there, you'll then go up in the top right hand corner again where it says My Apps. And then you'll click on the Home Keeper app button inside the marketplace. Now it does take about 24 hours for your clients to pop up in the HomeKeeper dashboard. So at this point, HomeKeeper now knows that they can connect to your command and they're going to pull the first 500 contacts from your command into HomeKeeper. Then what you'll do is you'll click this My Clients section and you'll actually be able to then check which clients you want to have added versus which ones you don't. So maybe you have a large database, um, but you only want to add certain people out of that 500. You can choose to select all or choose one by one, which one that you would like to be invited to HomeKeeper. When they're invited to HomeKeeper, they're going to be signed up for a branded to you newsletter. And then they're also going to have access to your vendor list. So you'll see there's a vendors tab. You can keep the vendor list as is, which has recommended companies such as Comcast or Verizon. Um, you'll also see on here like Liberty Mutual and ADT. Those are automatically on here from HomeKeeper. But then you can also go ahead and add in um, Maybe you have an HVAC person that you love to recommend, you can add them here. You'll just want to give them a call because when you send them an invitation, they have to accept it. So you can see here, I have a couple that I need to re-invite and give them a call to remind them to accept that invite. So that way I can recommend them for free through this system on HomeKeeper. Now, a lot of you also want to know how to get the free postings from HomeKeeper to your Facebook pages. So the easiest way to do that is when you're in the HomeKeeper screen, you're going to go ahead and click this help button in the bottom right hand corner. And you're going to just type in the word Facebook. The very first article that pops up is how do I link HomeKeeper to Facebook? So I'm going to scroll down through this tutorial and walk it through, through with you. You're going to want to have your phone because it's actually easier to type in this web address, this m.me backslash homekeeper in your phone's web browser. So for example, if you're an iPhone user, you would go into Safari. If you're an Android, you would go into Google Chrome and type in m.me backslash homekeeper. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to open up your Facebook Messenger app. And you're going to click the Get Started button. It's then going to ask you if you're a realtor or a home professional. So you're going to choose realtor. It's then going to ask you to log in to HomeKeeper. Now, you may not know your password because you connected through command, and that's OK. In your home screen for HomeKeeper, you'll see that there's a My Info tab, which will allow you to enter in a new password. So you'll go ahead and click My Info. You can add your profile photo, so that way when your blogs are posted to your Facebook page, they have your photo, so they're personally branded to you. Make sure the correct email address is posted and phone number, and then here's where you can enter your password. Once you click Save, you would then log in here back in the Messenger app. And then when you're all logged into HomeKeeper through your app, 
a little box is going to pop up that says your homekeeper blog is here. You can click then auto post my blog and that's going to auto post to your Facebook page twice a week. After you click auto post my blog it's going to have you continue as yourself through your personal Facebook page. But don't worry, it's going to allow you to select your business page because it has to be a business page. So you'll have a couple of pages pop up and you'll choose your realtor business page. And then you'll click next. It may ask you to re-sign in Facebook. It's going to give you a couple of options of what you're going to allow Homekeeper to have access to. If you don't allow Homekeeper full access, it may not post correctly, um, but it will post blogs to your social media page on Mondays and Thursdays. And again, they're personally branded to you. So when you see the blog and someone clicks it, your information is going to pop up and it, it almost looks like you wrote it um, the way that they have it. So it's a great free feature, Homekeepers free for all KW users, um, or I should say KW members and command users. If you need further assistance and you're just not sure um, or you're struggling a little bit on how to set up Homekeeper, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. Or even if you need help setting up that business page, I don't mind doing that. So that way you can have a business page for Homekeeper to post to.